nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. <laughs> it's your buddy Big Johnny G for Two Gun Pixel Presents Legendary Gaming. <laughs> so I recently got this off a of Kickstarter. I found it while I was looking for one player games. Gee, I wonder why I was doing that this past year. <laughs> and I came across Todd Sanders' Pulp Invasion by AV Studio Games. Actually, that's uh, AV Studio. That's uh, Albin Varad Studio Games Plus. Is the publisher of this. Apparently, there was a previous game. This was uh, based upon, rule-wise, and that was Pulp Detective. You see uh, Todd Sanders and or AV Studio Games. I'm not sure if there's ownership going on there or not, came into possession of actual uh, cover art and art from 1930s, 40s, 50s, I think 60s uh, pulp magazines. So they used this art uh, to uh, for their game. And that's why this, this art just looks so... So amazing and, and almost familiar uh, at the same time. I was like, wow, this, this looks beautiful. It's a one-player game. It it reads well. Uh, let me back this. And uh, in fact, if I enjoy this game, I'm definitely going to want to check out uh, Pulp Detective. And there's a, there's a few expansions uh, for that out, I noticed. So this is a very first playthrough, so you're going to have to bear with me. I do have this uh, ready. But then again, the rules really... Really, after setup, the rules are, uh, we got some some picture examples, but the rules go from, start on page 6, continue on page 8, page 9, and end off on, on page 10. It's uh, barely even a, a full page of information. So uh, I'm hoping that that this game is not that difficult to play, and this will prove it. This will prove it, being a first playthrough live, a live first playthrough. So this is a this is a resource management game, as you can see from over here. I have a uh, combat of 14. I have a science of 14. And we have a diplomacy of 12 for Captain Lars Hallard. Captain Lars Hallard. So we're going to we're going to get the some shuffling uh in a moment but we also have to seed the bag. Because besides being a resource management game, this is also a bag building game. So we're going to seed it with four blues, and four reds, and these four greens, and uh four yellows and four white dice or cubes, they're not dice. Okay. So we'll uh, keep this here until I need it. Okay. This is the pool off to the side. So when I need to add cubes to the bag, or if they have to come out of the bag and back to the pool, this is where they're going. These dice were not used by Captain Lars Hallard. Each of the captains has uh, different stats, as well as different dice for their choose to two. So I'm just going to leave these right up over here unless something directs me to grab them or use them. He is uh, using a red die and a yellow die. So these are set to six, which you can see in the bottom corner. That's the uh, that's the number. And when I use them, I'll be shifting it down from six to uh, five, four, three, two, one. You get it. When it gets down to one, uh, I'm going to have to hope that something gives me a reroll so I can see what I get and I'm not stuck at one. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, okay, so the idea is you are you are a, a space mercenary, uh, but secretly, secretly you're working for a federation that is trying to keep peace in space. And unfortunately... A, a unified enemy known as the cosmic hegemony is creeping into the into the galaxy and they want to take things over and they have they have a super weapon they have a super weapon uh so there's a couple of other things i just want to do on camera there are 16 cards in each of these decks i just want to make sure that they are shuffled up on camera and these 
represent the different sectors that I'm going to be going through trying to find their secret weapons. So there's the uh, the Arvon section that I just shuffled. This here I'm going to do now is, is the Quietus. And then I will be shuffling the Ka. And they each also have uh, an attribute that matches the iconography over here. So science, diplomacy, and combat. So I'm going to have to be... Uh, Finding clues to try to find their secret weapons. Their weapons of mass space destruction. <laughs> their Wunderwappens, so to speak. But even after finding them, I still have to still have to learn about them, learn how they how they work. That, that kind of reminds me of the old TSR Gamma World game. Uh, the first couple of editions of it uh, had that flow chart when you find technology, you know, like a pistol or a laser gun or any any sort of technology and you have to figure that out now the planet deck up here planet deck we'll give this a shuffle now another thing about these cards is there's no groups of cards there's no suits of cards uh, of anything like that so uh and there's no numbers on the cards so uh they're kind of easy to mix up in a sense that there is no order for them to begin with. Now, the uh, the super weapon I wanted to check for the setup, I think there's just four of them. Because uh, I'm doing the easy setting, which is why there was four yellow seated in here and four white cubes that were in there. just want to uh, double check for the, for the super weapons. Yes. So a basic game is four, normal is five, advanced is six. And besides the uh, the cubes, that's also how many super weapons I'm going to have in play. So let's shuffle this up, and then I'll take the top four off of the deck. And uh, the rest of these, I'll give you a show what we... Could have said, the only thing I noticed is this, uh, that they really needed uh, to outline the font here. I mean, it's barely even readable. It says telepathic communication. And I wish they had used some, uh, some outline. Enhance sensory ray. Or net. Net. So those are the some of the super weapons. Them over here since I don't need them in the game. And I don't know what these are. Don't know what these are, but I'm going to shuffle them anyway just because uh, I want to. I'll put them over here. I don't even get to flip them or, or anything yet with the uh, setup, but that's it. That's uh, So that is it for a setup now. We got the super weapons shuffled, shuffled, and everything is set up here okay so uh and let's uh take a sip of our drink whatever it is that you have that you are enjoying for your libation and let's see what the uh let's see what this says so there are uh, two phases there's an encounter phase i see as well as the planet search phase at least two phases yes yeah, just those two phases you know what this game these this game uh this game needed a cheat card, a little cheat card with phase and uh, uh, rule notes and stuff. That would have been that would have been great. But let's continue. So I'm gonna choose one. Okay, so yes, I got to uh, the planets. I got to put face up four of them. I forgot that was part of the setup. So we have Moon Six, Moon Six. Each key icon in your hand, and I'll be getting them. I mean, counters. Discard during a planet search will allow you to add plus one to your ability. All right. Now, I could also be checking out Archimen. Uh, so each uh, tech in your hand, discard during a planet search, will allow you to draw one extra cube during your planet search. Now we get two more here. Planet X. Come on, how, how, how sci-fi pulp does that sound? 
Discard all of that tech in your hand at the end of your encounter turn and double the number of planet icons shown in the encounter line, not containing any added through any player action. We'll see what that means. <laughs> and Tannis Prime. God, I love these names. Discard one tech on this planet search and fully understand any super weapon discovered on a prior turn. Ha ha! Take cubes from the general supply to mark this super weapon as discovered. All right, so those are the those are the four planets that I'm gonna have uh, to choose from. Now, uh, did I also need to set up the line, or am I doing that now? Well, I guess either way, I'm doing that. I'm doing that now. Either either way. Um, I was supposed to be three. Oh no, yeah, so. Three face up in a row above the encounter drawer decks. So it was supposed to be three, not four. It's supposed to be three, not four. So I'm going to shuffle this one back in. Hey, first playthrough. Things happen. Okay, now the encounters. So it always starts uh, from left to right. So I'm going to be starting with the Arvon. All hostile agents within sector controlled by the Arvon are their spies. Each of these cards in an encounter line adds plus one to their engaged strength regardless of type for each hostile agent in the encounter line. So for each hostile agent in the encounter line, that's going to be another plus one to their engaged strength. That doesn't sound too good for Captain Hallard, does it? <laughs> so all of uh, will be drawn from here. These are four at a time. That's where I got the four number from. Uh, 16. So there's going to be uh, four attempts at each of the sectors is how that comes out. So you saw me shuffle to begin with. So let's see what we got here. And we got a, we got a camera that's a little bit too. Yeah, how about this? How about that? Okay, so the first one up, we'll find Guard Force 2, a scout. There's a lot of Guard Force. They they work for the Cosmic uh, Hegemony. There are three or more planet icons in the encounter line. See, planet icon. When, when cards are first drawn, then you must engage this Guard Force twice. You may not evade. It only has an encounter strength uh, of one. Next... Guard Force 2. Man, you saw me shuffle these also. Great. Oh, come on! You saw me shuffle! No! <laughs> and a Technomagus. If engaging, draw three cubes from the bag. And for each uh, science drawn, then add plus one Science to this Technomage's engage strength. Place one cube from those drawn back in the general supply and place the other cubes back in the bag. Hmm. Don't like that guy, but I don't like the fact that he's got all these clones here with him or something, right? Okay, so. We got planet, we got dudes. I think I did something out of order. Not that it matters uh, thematically or what. I don't know. Uh, I think I was supposed to choose one of the planet cards uh, first that I was going to be encountering. Yeah, choose one planet card from the face of cards of the planet that you are searching during this round and place this to your right. Well, for the for the sake of the camera, we're going to uh, we're going to place it above me. Like that. So we know which planet is being engaged. These two are off to the side. Uh, and I will be engaging Moon 6. I'm going to start off right there. And uh, so that's the one I choose. So it's a little bit different for the camera, placing it there. But uh, it's, that's still the card. Okay, now I was supposed to draw the four cards. 
Yes, and uh, so I just did that out of order. Sorry about that. The cubes depicted on the upper left. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So these three obviously are the same. So what we're seeing here is uh, all fuzzy, but that's blue. So I'm going to take three blues, add them to the bag. I feel like if I, if I knew stage magic, I could totally <laughs> set this all up however I wanted. And uh, then we have a science cube right here. We're going to add that to the bag for the Techno Magus. Magus. Okay, simple enough. We did not draw a location card. Okay, if we did, then that would like, that would have been like that. Okay, no location card. Three in a row, even though you saw me shuffle, <laughs> and I shuffled before I even separated them out into decks of 16. So go figure. So now I get a chance I can either engage or I can evade. So this is... Hmm. Okay, so this is going to be a little tough. So there are, if there are three or more planet icons in this encounter line, when it's first drawn, then you must engage the guard force twice. So yeah, we're we're looking at four here. We're looking at four. One, two, three, four. So each of these guys are going to have to be drawn. Each of these three are going to have to be uh, encountered twice. Wow. Wow, Captain Hollard just like walked into a bee's nest here. On, on moon six. Each key in your hand, discard during a planet search. I'm not going to... Uh, that's a key. Look at this. This is like the same card. Oh, but they are different. They are different. See, this is a science. That's a diplomacy. Uh, and this is how... So this will be affected by this. This will be affected by this. This by this. And this... If this has been encountered, I'll double check that. Then it's by this. If it has been encountered, then it uses its own. But it doesn't matter because they're both the same. They're uh, both combat. Wow. Okay, that's nothing for now then because I'm not searching the planet. This is not the planet search. So nothing on moon six is going to affect right now. I'm just wondering is if I evade, I might just have to. But do I want to evade the first one? No, I want to. I want to. Diplomacy is my least, right? This is over here sitting at twelve. Well, science and combat are up at fourteen. Okay. Well, let's. Just let's keep that in mind. So we uh, we will engage. We will engage with Guard Force 2, the Scout Force on Moon 6 with Captain Lars Hallard. <laughs> this does sound both fiction -y. I love it. And the number in the left hand of each card is its engage strength. So this is showing all three of these are showing an engage strength of 1. The card to its immediate right, so for this card here that I'm challenging, we look at this card, we'll show an engaged strength icon, and that is the diplomacy right there, which, as I pointed out, is my is my least strong ability. So maybe actually I should evade this one. I should evade that one. Instead of engaging, you may invade an encounter by paying one ability point of your choice and randomly drawing two cubes from the bag and placing them back in the general supply. Any uh, yellow, white, or black cubes drawn this way are put back in the bag, you must draw again. For each uh, of the 
the, the diplomacy, combat, and science that you draw, reduce that ability of the color by one, then put the drawn cube in the general supply. If an ability of that color is zero, the cube is ignored. Discards engage icon no longer valid for the rest of the encounter line. Rotate the evaded card nine degrees to show that it has been evaded. Okay, so I will put down science by one. And then I'm going to have to draw. Make sure these things are all... Well, well, what's up? Good to see you again. Okay, so let me see what we got here. Oh, too blue. Oh, too blue. And then they go over here in the supply. All right, so thank you for joining me while I am trying to figure out how to play Pulp Invasion. First playthrough since I've got this from Kickstarter. This is going to have to go down two. That's one and two. That's down to ten, my diplomacy. But this has been evaded. So I'll put that 90 degrees. Uh, <coughs> tap, <coughs> tap. Uh, 90 degrees there to show that it has been evaded. And, and that's it. But I won't be getting that icon, though, I think. I think I won't be getting that icon. I haven't told about my Dragonlands game. Uh, the one that's sitting up behind me. <laughs> Man, love that game. Love that game, uh, Lil Will. I, I, I got it when it first came out. Actually, that's not the one I got. Uh, it was mine burned up in a fire about 11 years ago. But, uh, but my old childhood uh, buddy, Anthony T-Bone, got me a, a copy of it. So technically... Yeah, it's the same one since then. Yeah, the books were great. Uh, I I read, uh, after Tolkien, I, I read the Belgariad series, uh, which was just a ripoff. The Shannara series was just a ripoff. Uh, but the Dragonlance books were great. They were great. Uh, in my opinion, uh, there's, there's only like really two great series after Tolkien's work, and Dragonlance is one of them. And the other is uh, Stephen R. Donaldson's uh, Thomas Covenant, the Unbeliever. But the game, the, the Dragonlands game, a really fun game. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to play it over a year uh, because of everything that's going on. Uh, the, can't solo that game. Uh, but the board game is fantastic. I wish they would do an updated version of it. It, it, it would be it'd be fantastic. Uh, just love that game. I did a slideshow of it. Me and Tommy V played it uh, uh, at least once or twice. I think once on camera. Uh, so I, I got it. I got at least one, maybe two videos of it up. It's a great game, man. Love it. Love it. Okay, so getting back here, I evaded the first guard force. Captain Hullard snuck around them on moon six. But I need to start collecting some of these things. And if, uh, if I remember correctly, I'll find out at the end of the turn. But because I evaded this, I don't think I'm going to get this card in my hand. None at all. They uh, take a look uh, the Dragonlands videos uh, or anything at all related to D and D. Take a look in the in the Dungeons and Dragons playlist. That'll probably be the easiest way to find it. Try to put everything in a playlist. I'm a little behind on some of the updates on the playlist, but I got tons of them. Yeah, the D and D movie was uh, has been in works for a while now. Uh, Warner Brothers is, is no longer uh, in control of the the movie. I know Joe. Joe Manantel, I can't say his last name. <laughs> Big guy from Magic Mike. Uh, he he had actually penned a script for it and uh, was hoping to play Sturm. Uh, that'd be uh, pretty cool. Uh, the audio book. I love the audio book uh, of, of the first novel. It's great. It's one of those classic uh, radio dramas, uh, the, the audio books for, these, for the Dragonland series. Because you call it a radio drama because you hear all the background noise. Like when they're in the the uh, the end of the, of the, of the last home, uh, you, you know, you hear the plates and the silverware and everything tinkling in the background. I, I love that stuff. If I'm going to listen to an audio book, I totally, totally prefer that. <laughs> TV series too. Yeah, I heard something about a TV series, but that's all I know is that they are talking about it. But then again, to one degree or another, everything is in pre-production in Hollywood at some point or another. So until something gets past pre-production, uh, I'm not going to get too excited anymore. The D&D &D movie sucked. 
Uh, the first one was horrible. It was the only thing redeeming about it was we finally got D and D on the big screen, but it sucked. It sucked. It sucked. The second one uh, was a little bit better, and I actually think the third one, the Book of Vile Darkness, was the best of the of the three of them. Though it's not saying a hell of a lot. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to have to engage with this one right here. This one might be a little bit easier, so I got some higher points. Mm. Did I get bumped by mistake? That's supposed to be 14. I haven't spent science yet. That's what got bumped down with my diplomacy. Okay, so let me uh, do this again here. So this is the number for the engage. I remember that, the top number there. So that was a one for the engage. And I'm going to have to engage it with science because you engage it with the icon on the card to the right of it. So in this case, uh, that's, that's science. All right. Um, use it. Strength icon. It will be used to determine which of your abilities to use. There. So I think that means I'm going to end up draining science here. I think that's what that means. To engage a guard force or agent, you must pay with the matching ability. Yep, yeah, that's what it looked like. That's where it looked like it was heading. Of equal to or greater than the engaged number strength, or by using one of your captain's dice. Well, these are still at max number, so I'd rather not use uh, one of them yet, <laughs> if I don't have to. So we will do the one engage in science for that. Also, uh, by the way, you can also pay two points of any ability uh, to act as one point of another. So I could have paid two in combat to act like one of science if I had so chosen. But I didn't need to do that. And you may uh, choose to add any encounter card from your hand if you have engaged, not invaded. Okay, yep, so that's what I thought. So I can then move this to my hand since I engaged it, not invade, evaded it, which means I'm going to get access to that symbol right there, which is uh, which is like tech or something, something similar to that. So I'm going to put this over here to show that it's it's part of my hand. Sure. <laughs> and then that's it. That seemed pretty simple. See, once you know the game, it's only it's only supposed to take 20 to 30 minutes. But that did seem pretty simple. After you do that a couple of times, it kind of seems like it would, would just flow. Okay, so if I wanted to engage this one, this is going to cost me... In combat, there's nothing to grab. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I don't get this. I don't get this. I don't get this. I don't get this. Wow. Uh, because I have to engage twice. Because the guard force says if there are three or more planet icons in their encounter line, one, two, three, four, when the cards are first drawn, yep, then you must engage this guard force twice. Twice. Okay, so I evaded this, not engaged, so that was fine. So now I'm going to have to do this again. I have to do that again. So that's going to cost me another science. Because the engaged strength is one. And now I get this in my hand. So this has an engaged strength of one as well. But looking to the right, the icon over here, we see that that is red for combat. Case of one, so I'll take the combat down one, uh, but then I'm going to have to do it again because when you engage... No, wait a second. I'm not getting anything for this. There's no key. There's no tech symbol. There's nothing here. So, you know, I, I played this wrong. I should have, should not have evaded that. I should have collected that. Okay, first play through, you, you learn a strategy, right? So, okay. So then if I'm going to evade this, uh, then I got to put something down and then the bag. Correct? That's what I just did for the first card. I believe. Pay with one ability. I'll pay with that. Now, let's see. 
If it's anything but that uh, science combat or diplomacy, and it's back in the bag. If it's those, I got to pay with two. So let's see what these two, oh, that's one. Let's see what this is. Uh, all right, so they're out. That's down one, and that's down one in order to evade. So I evaded that card as well. Now the last card in line is going to use this icon. They're both combat. Both combat, but this guy has a four. This guy has a four, the Techno Mage. If engaging, draw three cubes from the bag. For each science drawn at a plus one to science of this Techno Mage's engaged strength. Place one cube from those drawn back in the general supply and place the other cubes back in the bag. And uh, anything, any other colors go back in the bag. Oh, yeah, he's a Technomagus. So I guess he's going to have a lot of science his way. Hmm. Pardon me. I took that sip. But he will get me a key. Get me a key. Okay, we'll have to engage him. So I'm going to draw three cubes from the bag. Blindly. That feels like three. Okay, so I got a Diplomacy, Science, well, that's a yellow. Just a Ted, yeah, that's a yellow. <laughs> that would have been a Science. When I see them together, they're fine, but when I don't see them together, I'm like, wait a second. Okay, so science is... Yeah, the cubes are a little bit slow. Hey, Shogunstein, what's up? Glad you could join me and little Will tonight. Okay, so these are then going to go back in the bag. For each science drawing, add plus one to the Techno Mages. Engage strength. So that makes it a five now. Place one cube from those drawn back in the general supply and place the other back in the bag. General supply, and we'll put the blue back in the bag. Okay. Building that bag up and taking it down. I'm losing more than a going in. I think I got to get more in there somehow, but that's up to the cards. Okay, so now engaging this guy. Now he needs a five because he's all souped up with his technology. And this is a great card, too. Look at that art. Absolutely 100% original Pulp Magazine artwork right there. Uh, it looks it, it feels it. Wow. Just always had a fascination with this style of art. But that doesn't help me from the engage. <laughs> So now there's going to be five. And this is already at, uh, was that at 12? So one, two, three, four, five. Whew, down to seven. Not good. If two of these go down to zero, game over. If I can't make a draw from one of the piles, game over. There's like multiple ways to lose. <laughs> Okay, but I did uh, get this, so I'm going to get that key. So I have one key, and I have one uh, technical symbol thing. Each key in your hand discarded during a planet search will allow you to add plus one to your science ability. Okay, but let's uh, let's check.
Okay, so I uh, went through the four. When the cosmic hegemonies aliens in Canada is empty, you will move to the next cosmic hegemony alien. After all the cards in the encounter line have been encountered through evade or engage, you may now search the planet for any super weapons. So these have all been uh, evaded or engaged. I'm not sure. I guess I'll put the uh, them here. Put them there. Okay. So now I get to search the planet. This is the second phase. Follow any actions listed on the planet card. Paying tech and key icons on the card in your hand in the encounter discard pile if you wish to activate the actions. So I can gain plus one on my science if I discard a key. So why not discard a key? Let my science go up from 11 to 12. Then, yes, so then randomly draw cubes from the bag equal to the number of planet icons showing in the bottom right of the remaining encounter lines, encounter line cards. Uh, the number of cubes drawn may be modified by cards that you have evaded and actions that you are subject to, either from the encounter line or from the planet. Okay, so uh, well, there was two. That were evaded, so there were two planet signs left on the line. So there was two left on the line. So I used that key that wasn't on the line. So randomly draw uh, two. And then I will see what they are. So let's see, two, 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 two. Two for Tuesday. It's not even Tuesday. Okay. Okay, I got a science and I got a combat. Combat for each cube drawn. Either add plus one to an ability of the matching color and place that cube back in the general supply or add that cube to a super weapon guard to understand how it can operate. You may never increase your abilities beyond maximum indicated on your camp on your captain's card. So 14, 14, 12. Oh, okay, so it doesn't. Okay. I thought each one meant something specific. Yellows do. Draw a super weapon card from the deck and place it in front of you. So I was just wondering uh how I could place these, uh, because it isn't out yet. <laughs> it isn't out. We have four of them sitting right here. Uh, and we're gonna have to wait and see what they are because. I did not draw a yellow. I drew an orange and a red. So that was the search of the planet. So nothing there. So I guess I will put them both up one. So that's what I can do with it. This is no super weapon to understand. Okay, so yes, I will... And then I put them back in the general supply. Back in the general supply. Okay, good. So they both took a little bit of a banging up there. I, and I only really did two of the, uh, the encounters. I evaded the other two. Um, I think that's it for the phase. I think that, oh, so this, place any black cubes drawn during a planet search for this card while traveling in any sector. That's what I'm required as controlled sectors. Okay. It said the quiet black to the quietest, but we're not uh, we're not up to that yet. And this reads like we have to be going through this deck. Okay, so let's draw another four and move move on. Oh, the same art they use for the back of the cards. Cool, Guard Force One Patrol. We've encountered in an Arvin hegemony, which 
it was right there. Then place an additional black in the bag from the general supply if available. Guard Force 4. If engaged, you draw three cubes from the bag. For each combat drawn at plus one. <laughs> Damn. Combat to the Guard Force's engaged strength. Place one cube from those drawn back in the general supply and place the other cubes back in the moon. Oh, but you get a key for that. Guard Force 3. Protector. Any keys in your hand, discard during this round's planet search, it allows one extra cube to be drawn per key. And we, find, and we have no locations. No locations yet. Autonomous drone. Ah, there we go. Autonomous drone. If you evade during this encounter, you may re-roll a captain's system die. Hmm. Oh, don't have any yet. But see, that's where you get the re-rolls coming from. So, excellent. I'm not liking these strengths, though. This is going back in the bag. Or back. This is going into the bag. Because it was encountered in an Arvon hegemony sector. Now we have to add, let me not look at the rules. Let me see if I remember since I only just did this a moment ago. We have to add a combat, a science, a diplomacy, and a combat. So two combats. Maybe two combat dice that we're going to be adding in. We need a science. And we need a diplomacy. So these are going into our bag. Nice. I shouldn't forget anything, but I think that flows pretty easily. And in the yeah, no location again. There's no location. Uh, if there if there was a location, then I would uh, I would take that and put that underneath my my card, just to show that I'm at a location. But nothing's come up yet, even though I shuffled this on camera. <laughs> okay, so again, remember, you always have to go from left to right. This has an engaged strength of two, and we're looking at science. It's going to get me some tech. I really want these two in the last one if I can, but that's tough. tough. It's going to be four. It's going to be four science. Yeah, okay, so let's engage this. I'm not going to evade, so I don't need the drawer bag. I already put in the black die into the bag. So this is going to be uh, two on science. From 13 down to 11. And I'm going to get possession of that. So that's a key. Oh, I, I had to move on to the next planet. I move on to the next planet. And no, it doesn't get filled until all three are are used. Don't forget to advance to the next planet. Sorry about that. Archimen. Wow, look at this great art. So each of that tech symbol thing in your hand, right, right now I have one. Now discard during a planet search and you're allowed to draw one extra cube during your planet search. Good. Because that's how I'm going to find out where the secret super weapons are. The Wunderwappens. Oh, wait. I picked up the wrong one. Where the hell did I do that? Sorry. This is the one I defeated. So that one's going over here. Got distracted. So now moving on to Guard Force for the infiltrator. So if I'm going to be engaged in this, I'm going to draw three cubes in the bag for each combat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not. Hmm. First playthrough, so I don't even know what the what, what the strategy is or should be here. But I know I don't like, I don't like the look of that. 
So if engaging, draw three cubes in the bag for each combat drawn. Add plus one combat to this guard force's engage strength. Oh, okay. Not the symbol. It's already three. Wow, this is a tough fight. Okay, but I need I need these symbols and everything, so they help. I'm trying to collect them in my hand. So this will be diplomacy at three, but I have to draw three cubes first. It could be more than three that I got to pay. One, two. That feels like feels like three. Ah. Oh. Oh, I got a yellow. What does it say about... Oh, I didn't get any red. Oh, oh, that's great. That's great. Place one cube from those drawn back in the general supply. Place the other cube back in the bag, and any yellows go back in the bag. That's what really doesn't matter. The yellow has to go back in anyway. So here we go. Putting them back in. Right back in. Oh, okay, so it is still good. It's going to be three on my diplomacy. They have an engaged strength of three. Looking over here at the right, we see that's diplomacy, so I'm going to you have to use diplomacy to take out guard force four. Diplomacy, one, two, three. Three, not four. <laughs> now I get this. Now, this one here, Guard Force 3 Protector. Any keys in your hand discarded during this round's planet search allow one extra cube to be drawn. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to evade. I'm going to evade on this. And I'll put my science down. I'll do something science-y to evade. But then I also have to draw two. I also got to draw two and use them for my evade as well. White goes back in the bag. So it's going to cost me one red. Ah, come on. And one blue. I believe these go over here, not back in the bag. Let me double check that. And you evade. Then it goes back in the pile. And the general supply. It's going to cost me a red, and it's going to cost me a blue. Oh. But I did get to evade Guard Force 3. Now the Autonomous Drone. Autonomous Drone is going to be for science. If you evade during this encounter, you may re-roll a Captain's System die. I still have not had to use those. I'm quite proud of that, I, I think. <laughs> First playthrough. I could be completely miss misrepresenting them and should have been using that. I don't know. It seems like I haven't needed it. Okay, but the autonomous drone. Let's see how I want to take care of this. Yeah, I want that key. I want that key right there. So it's going to cost me four science. Ouch. Down to six. Maybe I should be rolling that soon. Okay. Now, that's going to get me to the planet search. And this said for each science, I think I got one. I got two. I got two. So each science in your hand, discarded during a planet search, you will be allowed to draw one extra cube during your planet search. Yes. Get rid of those. Draw two extra cubes. And there was one for each planet icon. Two. 
I had those in my hand. That was... Maybe I shouldn't have taken these out of the line yet. So that was all planets. That's four of them. Ooh, so I'm going to be able to draw six. Three, four, five, six. I'm almost positive this feels like six. Oh, it, it was six. And still didn't get a yellow. That's what I need to find a super weapon. Okay. Um, so the blacks and the white are nothing, but they go back in the bag. Yeah, nothing for them. What I think. And the cube. Uh, oh, okay. So I should have taken that black and added it to the hegemony. Did I do that wrong before? I might have. So I got to specifically find a black one in here. So I just threw it away. There we go. And this is going to go over here. Not even up to her yet, and she's building stuff up. And uh, the rest of these, so this is going to go up three. And this is going to go up one. And then these go bye-bye. Wow, yeah, I got to get more in there, don't I? I have almost nothing left. Okay, so moving on to Planet X. It's got all tech in your hand at the end of your encounter turn and double the number of planet icons shown in the encounter line. Okay, so it doubles the amount of uh, drawers that you're going to get. And I have none in my hand now. So let's see. you got to draw out four more. Another autonomous drone. Guard Force 3 Protector. The Guard Force 3 Protector. Oh, man, I hate this guy. Another Technomagus. Great. Okay. So we're going to be adding a Combat, two Diplomacy, and a Science. Science and two Diplomacy. So these are going to be added to the bag. Well, my uh, my tactics aside, I do think that I've been picking up these rules fairly easily for a first playthrough. Have I said first playthrough enough times? It should be a drinking game. First playthrough, first playthrough, first playthrough. <laughs> and you fall over. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, this is an engage of four. Jeez. That'll be four, that'll be four diplomacy to face this drone. Wow. And right now, diplomacy is my highest. <laughs> Maybe it'll be worth it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, even though I don't need a, a reroll. I'm using these symbols. All right. So I could use this to, uh, if I bring this from a six down to a five, I can get a, a plus three on my engage strength. And I haven't been using them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then let's, let's, Let's engage. No, I, I don't need anything from him. Actually, I don't need anything here at all. Now I could, I could click this. Uh, I'm going to evade. Yeah. And I will evade with diplomacy. Hey, 
Look over there. And it's also going to cost me two. Now just two. That's one. And it fell. That's two. Uh, it's going to cost me two science. And I got to discard them. Damn it. My science is down to five. Remember, if, if any two of these get down to zero, game over. That's be all she wrote. Uh, but I was able to to evade the autonomous drone. Shoelace isn't tied. I got away. That's how it works. Guard Force 3, Protector. Any keys in your hand discarded during this round's planet search allow one extra cube to be drawn per key. Cool. Got two keys. Still got to find a yellow cube in there to get me my... Uh, find out what, what the super weapon is. So yeah, let's engage. This will be uh, two engage strength. And the icon is science. Is science. So let's talk about how this seems kind of easy. Oh, well, maybe, oh, uh, damn it. Okay. Engage strength of two on science. So, uh, hmm. See, now that I know about that captain's die, I'm thinking about maybe using that. This way I don't need to engage two more of my science. So I can take this and knock this down. It'll be five now. So that did three, which is enough to engage this for just the one. Or oh, I didn't have to actually have to at all because I used the die and that was all three. I got my understanding of that right. I mean, three keys now. Nice. And by the way, there's only two planet cards. Uh, Protector through to be diplomacy. So with this, I can remove two white dice during an evade, or I can get a plus two. On my combat. Uh, that's all I need. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to knock this down to four. Do it! That's right, Shogunstein. Is this a new game on Kickstarter? Well, it was on Kickstarter a year ago. And about two years ago, they had another title, Pulp Detective. Which is a one-player slash two-player game as well. Uh, and also, they 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 had the, the you know uh, same style of art that they had gotten actual uh, pulp <laughs> artwork. So that's all this uh, pulp detective artwork on their cards for that one. Okay, now then, this is going to be the one that's going to cost me a little bit. So I have to engage this techno mage. Actually, do I have to engage him? He doesn't really have anything I need. I could evade him. Evade him. I'll evade him also. Hey, look at your shoes. Shoelace is untied there, buddy. Okay, how powerful of a major techno major you are. Your shoelace is untied, fool. And then all four of these eyes. This is a great picture. And then all four of those eyes look down. <laughs> and I and I skedaddle. And so, and then I have to draw a two out of here, though. No matter how much I talk, I still got to draw a two and get rid of them. Um, that's not yellow. Oh, yes, it is. 
Okay, so both of these go back. Green and blue. Green and blue. Or orange and blue. Or whatever. <laughs> Silence and diplomacy. Okay, so that was evaded. So now... That one doesn't count, I believe, because it was evaded. Oh, no, so it would be. So then randomly draw cubes from the bag equal to the number of planet icons showing in the bottom right of the remaining encounter line cards. So that's going to be one. However, hold on. Hold on. Any key icon discarded during the round's uh, planet search allows one extra cube to be drawn. I have no tech stuff. But I do have three key icons. So I'll be three extra cubes I'm going to get to draw. So that'll be one plus three, that's four. I feel one, two, three, now two, three. I don't think I dropped one. Still no damn yellow. Is there a yellow left in there? <sighs> okay, so. Um, this will go up one, this will go up two, and this will go up one. And these four are out of the bag. Cats out of the bag now, John. Shogun scene. All right, is really nice. Looks fun. I got to run. Stay legendary. Thank you, Shogun Steen. Thank you for stopping by and seeing what was going on. Good guy. Okay, so then these are going to be removed from the line. This guy is gone. We're going to draw three more. And I can start from any one of these planets I want. Meridian 7. If there are three more planet icons in the encounter line, you may discard two sack to turn a black draw into a W, into a, into a weapon. Yellow. Lone Water. Any pair of keys and tech in your hand discarded during a planet search will allow you to draw one extra cube. And Tara. Each key in your hand discarded during a planet search will allow you to reduce a guard force level 3 to 5 engage strength in the next planet's encounter line by one. Oh. Hmm. Let's check out Lone Water. Let me go over there. Should be the last. The last four. Yep. So I counted that out, right? So another autonomous drone. Two. Two autonomous drones. No. No locations. Wow, no. No locations in this whole. In these drawers at all. I know that there are locations. Okay. Ah. So let's see, we're starting with science, combat, science, and diplomacy. Okay, so two sciences. Two sciences, a combat, and a diplomacy all from the general pool into the bag. Um, let's engage the first autonomous drone. Oh, that's a four. That's a lot. I will get a tech for it. I'm going to start building up a hand again. Okay, so if I bring this down to three, that'll give me two. Two. 
And then I'll need to make another two from this. I got that. Second one we're going to evade. Oh, hey, look, your mother just walked in. Turns around, we run. Thomas Drone, you don't have it. <laughs> All right, so that's going to also cost me two here. Bag is getting light. And the white goes back in. I draw for that. Science and combat is also going to cost me. It didn't work because I was running out. He turned around, shot at me, had a dive. Use one of my special science weapons, thrown at him. It's a it's an explosive device, and so it took a lot of energy out of me. <laughs> But this one is evaded. <coughs> Pardon me. So we're going for us for infiltrator. We've fought them before. Combat. So it'll be three. Combat. So three cubes in the bag. Okay, let's. Let's see how bad this is. One, two, wait, wait, one, two, three. All right, no combat. It's the same thing that happened last time. No, no red. Back in the general supply. This back in the bag. Put the other cubes back in the bag. Okay. So there's no extra uh, firepower. Guard force infiltrator. Let's caught him off guard. I got three power left. And a, a two. I got two. Bring this down to a two. Ouch. Bring this down to a two. Where is it? There we go. And then I'll have to use one. And then the Guard Force 3 Protector. Uh, yeah, let's do this. That'll be a science. Going over to the right, uh, over to the left, since there's nothing else to the right. It's going to be a science, if I got that correct. And that'll be an engaged strength of two. Mm. Let's see, hold on. No, it's not going to help, damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Now the two. And that red captain's die. You can plus one of your engaged strength against the enemy engaged with strength type. Hmm. This is science two. That'll be a gain of one. Okay, that'll be a gain of one. Bring this down to its lowest number. Spend one. Now we got that beat. So we have three. So we get to draw a three out plus any pair, uh, one extra cube, any pair, like these two. And this says any in your hand, discard the other on planet, search and add one extra. That's one. 
So we get three, we get four, we get five. Is there even five left? One, two, three. I don't think there's any yellows in the bag. <laughs> How did that happen? I know yellows went into the bag. Um, no, I can't. And white goes back in the bag. So we'll get two here. Get one here. One here. White goes back in the bag. These go back in the pool. And uh, now I believe that we move on. To, oh, that's where the black was. The black was over here because of her. I was wondering when that went flying over here. A couple of turns ago. <sighs> and you know what I've been forgetting to do like that entire time? I was adding a plus one of the engaged strength. Because it was happening under the Arvons. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Okay, well, first playthrough, you know. And this, this here. Is any black cubes drawn during a planet search on this card while traveling in any sector? If there are three or more black cubes on this card, then each guard force level one to five in the encounter gains a plus one to their diplomacy to their engaged strength while in the quietest controlled sector after leaving the quietest controlled sector place all black cubes back in the bag oh man let's check out tara Hegemony Sentry. That's new. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad you all saw me shuffle in the beginning. Guard Force 5 Vanguard. Oh, getting tougher. And a swarm ship. Draw three cubes from the bag for each black drawn. Move one ability of your choice to a different ability. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. Uh, so we have to start left to right. Engage of two. Diplomacy. There's not three or more. I'm going to evade. I'm going to evade the first century. Uh, we'll use some more diplomacy. No, we'll, you use brute force. And, oh man, this bag's getting so light. Oh, one time his only thing is left in here. <laughs> White cubes. Oh, no. Okay. But then they got to go out. This is going to cost me another two. Wow. Okay, but we was able to evade. I think we're going to have to fight this fight here. They've engaged and draw three cubes in the bag for each, uh, for each diplomacy, drawing out a plus one diplomacy the hegemony. Is there three left? Oh no. Oh, there's four. And there is no yellow, I just saw that. One, two, three. Yeah. This game's over. 
Uh, each blue at a plus one to their engage strength. Place one cube to the drawn back. And place the other cubes back in the... Because engage strength is a three. Place back in the bag. Which means these are the only two cubes left. Now he's going to be a three... On combat, can do that. Guard force five. We encountered in an urban center. No, we have no locations out. None have been found. So that means nothing special. No. Additional black dice in the bag from the general supply. And it's going to be diplo oops, diplomacy. Wow, a four. That hurt. That hurt. The problem is I know I can't. I know I can't find... Uh, no, I can't find a super weapon. I feel like I did something wrong, which is why there wasn't enough yellows in the bag. Swarm ship. Uh, I know there won't be any black because there's like one white and I think one blue. I think that's in the bag. Draw three cubes in the bag. For each black draw and move one ability point of your choice to a different ability. So that means I, I could move, take one away from here and put one there. That's what that means. Wow, but this is going to be combat of three. Can use this for one. Get another two, boom, that takes that out, though. Huh. Lil Will says this is a lot of stuff in a small box. There are. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, cards. There's a lot of cubes. Uh, the bag came with it. Uh, extra. These dice, which I'm not using because it wasn't drawn by this captain. We have extra captains. Extra captains over here. There's a lot more cards than just what you're seeing out here. Oh, from the cover, Atomica 9. So there's a lot of good stuff in this. Even though I kind of messed a few things up, I, I guess. I don't know how I didn't manage to get more yellows in. I, I swear some came out of the bag about halfway through the game or so. Uh, but none got a chance to go back in. I think it was doing something wrong with filling the bag. So that's on me. That's definitely on me. But I, I like the story behind this game that's going on. That's what I'm really digging right now playing is the story of Captain Lars Halvard and uh, his attempt to find these, these secret weapons. It's cool. <laughs> now, the search... For each in your hand, discard during a planet search, you will to reduce guard force. Okay, that's uh, not going to help me for the search at the moment. Little will. Yeah, the, the art definitely should because these are uh, all actual actual art pieces that were used in Pulp Fiction magazines of the, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Uh, they got the rights. Uh, AV Studio Games got the rights to uh, tons of these art. And that's what they made this game with. And there was an earlier game uh, about two years ago. It was on Kickstarter, which was Pulp Detective. And it was the same thing. They had a bunch of, uh, of Pulp Fiction art that they had in, in that genre, in that vein uh, of, of detectives. Noir stuff, definitely. And they made a similar game, uh, which I, I'm, I'm definitely, after playing this, I definitely want to see about getting my hands on. Uh, so, yeah, that's why this artwork looks looks. Um, hypnotic 
I could just look at this artwork all day. I, I love this style of art. It's amazing. It's a, it's a lost style, actually. You don't you don't see this style uh, coming back anymore, and it, it should. This is this is really great. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it. Okay, but now then, we had a grand total of three. All of these had them. Yes, three, three planet symbols. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything special for the search? No, none of these have anything special for the search. So we're looking at three, but that's an impossibility because there's only like two in here. Well, there was three. It was three exactly. So, uh, yeah, whatever I did uh, that got so many of the yellows out and not back in, I'm not sure. This is the first playthrough. I did something wrong, obviously. So I never did get a chance to find even what the first super weapon was, which was a personal shield. Uh, you can't really read it. They needed to outline the font right there. That's his personal shield. That would have been the first uh, super weapon that I would have had to deal with. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a like game over now, I think, because there are no more cubes in there. Well, actually, no, there is another one. So let's put this away. Well, that doesn't really matter. Uh, these two are going to have to uh, leave the bag. And then that would be, I mean, the game really is over, more or less. Uh, so this goes away here. So now he, Captain Lars, is at Meridian 7. There are three or more planet icons in the encounter line. You may discard two texts to turn a black cube drawn into uh, a yellow, which is a weapon. That's why I've been needing it. But there are no yellows in there. They're all out here. <laughs> Uh, but the way this would play out, I mean, this is kind of a push right now. So we get these four out. Look at that. Three, three of the four cards are planet cards. This means you have to evade right here. And that would, uh, let's see, we got a science, nothing. 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 Is that a typo? I don't know. I didn't see anything about blanks. There's only like a few pages to look at here. I might have to go back to the uh, Kickstarter backer section and uh, in the update, see if there's anything updated in the rules that I missed. Okay, so that's really going to suck even more. That means that there's just going to be a science die and a diplomacy die put in the bag, and we know there's a white cube in there, and, and that's it. So really, uh, I feel like I'm at a bit of a dead end here. Yeah. Hmm. That's how first playthroughs go sometimes, right? So anyway, the Corpus of Yun 5. What an amazing name. This, I mean, definitely sounds like something, you know, a Robert E. Howard story or something. The Corpus of Yun 5. For each diplomacy ability points that you spend, draw a card off the Cosmic Hegemony's Aliens Encounter deck, place this card in any order, back either on top or on the bottom of the Cosmic Hegemony's Alien Draw deck. Okay, so that's a little bit of deck management that we get going on here. So this is going to be a zero engage. That means I have to uh, evade it. And this is where things are going to start hurting even more. So I will take an engage with this, with my diplomacy, but now I have to draw it too, and we kind of know what's in here, don't we? So this isn't going to be a huge surprise. Uh Zero and zero and zero. All three are zeroed out. <laughs> so Captain Laws Hallard dead in space. And where? On Meridian 7. While trying to 
evade the corpus of Yun Five. Wow, this did this. Uh, so I made a couple of mistakes. I'll tell you, the feel of this game was exactly uh, what I thought it was going to be when I found it on Kickstarter. Uh, everything about this does it. It feels like I'm I'm literally playing through a, a, a story, a legitimate sci-fi pulp story from, from like 1947 or something. This was worth it. That definitely was. So I'll go back. I'll check the rules out a little bit more. You'll see another playthrough or two of this coming up. Uh, there's a few extra things I didn't throw in uh, that were part of uh, X1 expansion, which is uh, pretty much uh, more of the same. But you're also able to add a second player at this point. The Will, thank you. Yes, it is It is hypnotic, the whole thing, looking at this game, you know. And, and if you're like me, I do. I, I kind of picture this as a, as a story building up in my mind about, you know, these places that Captain Hellard is going. I can I can I can paint the picture in my mind and and these these paint such a specific picture, these these cards, don't they? Hostile agent, look at that. It's awesome. A nebula. Ah, just like D and D for you, huh? I, I admit, I, I remember when I was a kid and, and first seeing like like let's say the Errol Otis art from from the old days was just mind blowing. Still is. Jeff D. Love love all those great artists, man. Oh, and this this has that similar feel. You're right. So please, if you if you enjoy this, go check out AV Studio Games. Check this out. Like I said, there's an earlier game uh, that came out, uh, kickstarted about two years ago. I think it came out to the general public about a year ago called Pulp Detective. So if you like this, uh, but you also like the, the 1920s style of uh, of noir detective uh, adventures, uh, they also do Pulp Detective, which I got to check out, and maybe you should too. So there you go, everyone. Little Will, Shogunstein, and everyone else is going to be checking out this video, man. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for keeping me company. That was great. I love I love talking to you guys and gals while I, while I'm gaming. You make it you make it feel it. You make it feel even more homey. It makes me feel like my gang is here with me. So thank you so much, Lil Will and Shogunstein. And you guys know by now that I'm your buddy, Big Giant G for Two Gun Pixel Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming, and my friends, 